that's the game that Goge played. Not only did he wind up on top of the beast that is the Imperium, he wound up taking over the church too, giving him pretty much unquestionable authority. Nobody could stop him. He is a fantastic case study into why power is split up, because if you have it all under one guy, it's fantastic, it's great. You can pivot really quickly, you can adapt to anything thrown at you far faster than with an army of bureaucrats. However, it only takes one nutcase for it all to crash. Think Nero fiddling while Rome burned. It's, it's that level of insanity. Goge Van Dyer was the Imperium's Nero, with nothing standing in his way and complete control over the most powerful government man had ever assembled at the time. He proceeded to bring agony to everyone across the Imperium. To give a sense of scale, Horus splitting the Empire in half and treating the Emperor like Bane treated Batman is simply called the Horus Heresy. Goge Van Dyer's rule is called the Reign of Blood.